Hello! And this is the first installment of NFL Power Rankings. Um, <clears throat> so without further ado, let's get into it. Number 32, Houston Texans. I mean, it's not even close anymore. They just flat out suck. So Houston Texans, 1-8-1, one, and one, number 32. Number 31, Carolina Panthers. I mean, Baker Mayfield came back. Nothing happened. 13 to 3. Another disappointing showing. Oh, uh, yeah. So, Carolina Panthers, number 31. Number 30, Denver Broncos. Um, yeah. Russell Wilson. I had high hopes for the Broncos. No. Terrible. Can't do anything. Russell Wilson sucks. The whole team is in shambles. Nathaniel Hackett needs to get out. Number 29, Chicago Bears. Just not much to say. Um, Justin Fields was fun to watch on the ground, but just terrible play calling really all day and nothing much good that they did. Uh, number 28, Jacksonville Jaguars. Um, yeah. Just not much to say. Just kind of suck. I, was, I had high hopes for them after that good start, but nope. 27, Pittsburgh Steelers. And, yeah, you just got absolutely eviscerated by the Bengals. 37 points, 408 yards. No. Cleveland Browns. Like, Kevin Stefanski coaching terrible. I don't know what happened to them. I mean, Deshaun Watson, what? He still isn't back, right? He's got, like, another week because he's a freaking idiot. All right, number 25, the defending champs. Number 25. Yeah. Yeah. And Matthew Stafford out for a concussion. That's pretty much it for their season. Um, not like it had anything going anyway. Number 24, Indianapolis Colts. I was impressed by their effort. I mean, they have had so many close games this year. And they could easily be like... They could easily have like six or seven wins. But um, Jeff Saturday, ultimate vibes kind of guy. But just vibes can't fix a bad team. Number 23, Las Vegas Raiders. Um, yeah, Josh McDaniels doesn't do a lot right, but they, they did beat the Broncos. <laughs> Number 22, Arizona Cardinals. Yeah, Cliff Kingsbury, they suck. Kyler Murray, not good. None of them are good. Uh, yeah, can't they bet, bet, bet they can't wait for 2023. Number 21, Green Bay Packers. Aaron Rodgers is washed. That's all I'm going to say. Number 20, Detroit Lions. Um, the, the Dan Campbell Express has found its gear over the past month. But you're about to play the Bills. And you lost. Sorry. And number 19, I have got the New Orleans Saints. Um, they've just kind of been meh the whole year. I mean, just not much to say about them. I haven't been paying a whole lot of attention uh, to them, but yeah, I don't, I don't see them going anywhere. Number eighteen, Atlanta Falcons. Um, yeah, Correll Patterson's the star of that team, but um, yeah, there's not much to say about them either. Number seventeen, the fraudulent New York Jets started off like what six and two, six and four now. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Number 16, Washington Commandos. Uh, they are cruising with Taylor Heineke, and Ron Rivera has been good. But still, I do not think they are better than 16. 15, New England Patriots. 6-4, and four, I mean, very surprising. Defense has been good. Mac Jones is terrible. 14, LA Chargers. I think they have potential. They... Did a great work, great job against the Chiefs. Um, ultimately fell up short, but that's what the Chiefs will do to you. Number 13, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Um, I have them here. They will win the NFC South. That's pretty much a foregone conclusion. But they won't go farther than the divisional round. Number 12, New York Giants. You guys might be getting mad at me saying, it's like, oh, the Giants are 73. The Giants are 73. No, the Giants are frauds. Giants are frauds. I'm saying it right now. You heard it here first. They are frauds, and they're going to get crushed by the Cowboys on Thanksgiving Day. Cincinnati Bengals, number 11. T. Higgins is great, 
wide receiver. Jamar Chase is out. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's not going to help you. And number 10, fraudulent, fraudulent frauds. The Minnesota Vikings, 8-1. and one. I was, I'm a Cowboys fan, and I was like, oh, crap. We need to prove that we are legitimate. And holy moly, did they prove they are legitimate. Vikings get smashed. O-line couldn't do nothing against Micah Parsons. All that, all that great Cowboys defense on the front. So many great players the Cowboys had. Nothing the O-line could do. Vikings, number 10. Number 9, Seattle Seahawks. I mean, I didn't expect this. I was expecting them to be bottom feeders, but they've been better than the Broncos, and they traded their star quarterback to the Broncos, and now that star quarterback isn't even a star anymore. So, um, fair play, Seahawks. Number eight, Tennessee Titans. Um, I feel like the more I doubt the Titans, the more they win. So, I mean, good for them, good for them. They're seven and three, which is... What I I definitely didn't expect that, but good on the Titans. Number seven, San Francisco 49ers. The offense is clicking. They will remain in contention, and I think they have all the potential and a ton of talent, and they have enough of it to get to the Super Bowl easy. Um, <clears throat> number six, Baltimore Ravens. Championship-level defense and a star quarterback. I just don't think they are a legit contender, so I have to stick them at number six. Number five, Miami Dolphins. Um, yeah, they have a bye, so I don't really have much to say about them, but they're looking good. Seven and three and have a great shot at the playoffs. Good for them. Number four, before y'all start screaming at me, let me explain something to you. Back-to-back, -back, absolute stinkers by the entire Phillies team. And, like, do you see? They barely beat the Colts. The Colts barely beat the Colts. And I was like, I was going to put the Eagles way back at number seven if they didn't beat the Colts. But um, I just don't think they are. I think they're pretenders. I mean, they've only beaten, like, bad teams, really. Like, what's a good team they've beaten? They beat the Cowboys. That was by virtue of Cooper Rush starting. And them being at home. Number three, Dallas Cowboys. Um, I have to go with the Dallas Cowboys. Number three, I would have put them at number, like, 11 if they lost. But number three, absolutely smash the Vikings. I think they're better than the Eagles. You might be like, oh, you're a Cowboys fan. You're a Cowboys fan. So you're just saying that because you want to feel good. No. Unbelievable. Dallas Cowboys. I did not expect that. Nobody expected that. I'm thrilled, but I have to stick them number three. Number two, Buffalo Bills. Um, That stadium looked awfully good to play in. I don't know what they were doing going to Detroit, but I mean, yeah, good job by the Bills of squeaking out a win against the Browns, and um, yeah, hopefully, um, what is it called? N High Mark, New Mark Stadium. I forgot what their stadium is called. Um, but hopefully it is not covered in snow. And number one, obvious, Kansas City Chiefs. There is no better team. You might say, oh, the Eagles are 9-1. and one. The Eagles, uh-uh-uh. The Eagles are 9-1. and one, And they're going to crush everybody. No. Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs offense. It's like Michael Myers. Impossible to stop. Impossible to kill. They always get it done. Always. 8-2. and two. Put some respect on the Chiefs' name. They are much better than the Eagles. The Bills, Cowboys, and I would even put the Dolphins in there, could easily beat the Eagles. You guys, quit the Eagles hype, because it's just not there. All right. Well, thank you all for tuning in for my first installment of the NFL Power Rankings. Um, I got this idea for myself, so um, yay me. But, yeah, thanks for watching, and um, I'm going to have an F1 tier list video out tomorrow.